Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to set up Snowflake and use the Snowflake Cortex LLM functions. Snowflake Cortex is a service that offers AI solutions to Snowflake users. Snowflake Cortex capabilities include LLM functions and ML functions. I'll show you an example of how to use the Snowflake Cortex LLM functions in Python. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Let's get to the point. First, you need to sign up if you haven't already. I'll provide dummy data here because I already have an account. I just want to show you that signing up is not that straightforward. Choose the standard tier. Now, Here's a pretty important decision which cloud provider do you want to use? Why is that important? Because later when you want to use LLM functions, you might figure out you selected the wrong cloud provider. As you can see here, not all LLM functions are available in all regions. For example, if you want to use the Snowflake Arctic LLM, you will only be able to do so if you choose AWS S West. Of course, later on, you can create multiple new accounts with different cloud providers but it's appreciated when you use something for the first time and don't get an error just because you selected the wrong cloud provider. Choosing AWS S West is the safest option because it allows you to use all but one LLM, Rika Core. So choose AWS here and US West here. Then continue with the signup. If we look at the code, you can see that we need three environment variables, Snowflake account, Snowflake user, and Snowflake user password. Snowflake user and Snowflake user password are those you set when you signed up. Use those two to log in and you should see the dashboard. Although the Snowflake user and password are simply created during the signup process, there's one thing you need to check. In the sidebar, click admin and then users and roles. In the table, click on the user you want to use. Make sure the default warehouse is not empty. The user needs to have a default warehouse set. Otherwise, you'll get an error. Now we'll find the third environment variable Snowflake account. In the sidebar, click Accounts. As you can see, I have two accounts. This is because one is the US West and the other is West Europe. Now, where's the third environment variable Snowflake account? Hover over this icon and copy the URL. I'll take the US West account, not West Europe, because as we already figured out, the US West offers a wider range of functionalities. Let's go back to the env file. Snowflake user and Snowflake user password environment variables we already have. Now we'll add the third environment variable. This one is a bit more tricky. The URL we copied looks like this. But if we simply paste it as an environment variable, it won't work. This won't work either. This is the correct way to set the Snowflake account environment variable. Now that we have all three environment variables set, we can look at the code. Before we do so, install the Snowflake Python SDK by running pip install Snowflake in the terminal. Okay, we import packages at the top. Then we load environment variables from the env file. Those three environment variables are our connection parameters for creating a Snowflake session. Now we come to the Snowflake Cortex LLM functions. We will use five LLM functions summarize, complete, extract answer, sentiment, and translate. Those are all currently available LLM functions. We define a Python function for every Snowflake LLM function. The first one is summarize. We will provide two parameters, text and session. The second one is complete. We will provide three parameters model. We will use the Snowflake Arctic LLM prompt. Let's say we want to get five keywords from the text and session. The third one is extract answer. This one is meant to get an answer from unstructured data. We will provide three parameters from text Question, let's say we want to know what are some of the ethical concerns associated with the rapid development of AI in session. The fourth one is sentiment. We will provide two parameters text and session. The fifth one is translate. We will provide four parameters text from language to language and session. Inside the main function, we run all LLM functions where we pass the user text variable to each. The user text variable is just some text about AI. I use the GPT-40 model to generate it. The finally block will always be executed, whether the try block executes successfully or not, ensuring that the Snowflake session is always closed. 
Now let's run the Python example. Wait for the output. Okay, we have the output. Let's look at it. We have a summary. We have five keywords. We have ethical concerns associated with the rapid development of AI with a very high score. We have a sentiment that is positive with minus one being the most negative and one the most positive. We have a German translation. If you have a good eye, you can see the translation is cut off. This is because of the very short context window of the Translate Snowflake Cortex LLM function. A solution is simple, but this is for another tutorial. Done. Impressive, right? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.